So, hello everyone and welcome to a 24 hour readathon. Now, I was supposed to start um, five minutes ago, uh, but I haven't because my parents were just walking out the door. So, <laughs> what have I planned for these 24 hours? To be completely honest, I have not set a really like set plan. Uh, but I have three books that I have on my mind and then also an audiobook. So the audiobook is that is Poirot Investigates, which I have been talking about kind of this whole month, like I need to start this, uh, but I haven't done that yet. So I hope if I am to listen to a few audiobooks, then I will listen to that one. Um, it's like not too long i don't know it's yeah it's definitely not that long let's so i am just going to go into storytell which is a norwegian app that i listen to audiobooks on uh it's like two hours and 50 minutes so it's not that long shouldn't take kind of that long if i sit down and listen to it However, I also have like three physical books um, that are on my mind. Um, I kind of have, have you know, Mariana Zapata books and uh, Gianna Darling books that I really want to get to, but I'm just going to wait a second with those. Maybe I will do like next time or something that I read some of those. Like a next 24 hour readathon where I like only read Mariana Zapata books or Diana Darling books or something like that, that might happen. So, uh, the three books that I am thinking of reading the first one is The Darkest Star. This I have already begun, this like today. So, I need to at least really read 100 pages of this tomorrow. Uh, I am on page 102, so uh, this one is about uh, Edie, and this is in the Lux world, which basically are, uh, Lux are like aliens, and this is basically about uh, Lu Luke, Luke, I don't know, L-U-C, I don't know how that is pronounced, um, so yeah. So far, 100 pages in. It's actually really good, I have to say. It's surprisingly good. Um, so this one is like 360 something pages. So, yeah. This is definitely one that I am going to start not start uh, continue on with it because it's really really good i mean yeah overall it's really good and if i like it i will definitely order more then i have been thinking about this and then uh i saw erica from oh no um I totally forgot her name. Um, the legendary reader uh, start this, and I was just like, I kind of want to read that. I feel like I reread these books every year. That is Hunger Games. I might reread it again. So yeah, and I love these editions that I got. The white ones are so so beautiful. So this is another book. Uh, it's not like my top priority, but I do know that I can finish this quite quickly. And then I was like, I'm going to read this next month. Um, I don't think that I can wait that long. And I kind of want to put that I want to read one at least, a, at least cover book a month, because I, so far, I have been loving this series I've been loving like one other book and um, I don't think it's bad to just 
read all of them. So this is Air Awakens. Uh, this is basically about uh, Vala. And basically, uh, she is uh, basically wor working in a library and um, basically she saves the life of a, a prince and basically uh, she is a sorcerer. And basically, she must decide what she's going to do. So, yeah, I have been, I have read this before. I loved it, and um, yeah, it's definitely something that I want to reread and see. So, she has kind of a lot. Um, she has the Air Awaken series. Uh, she has uh, the Golden Guard trilogy it's also in the air awaken series oh cool okay so definitely something that i want to and then we have the loom saga that is definitely something she has a letterbox that i really want to get to and um yeah i'm going to start reading see how much i can get them and uh i just got a snap from my sister so i am going to go so excuse my face i have just had some cream on it because I'm going to bed. It's 9.30, so, you know, it's my time to go to bed because I'm tired. So, but I actually have done a lot since four. Um, I finished Air Awakens and um, I'm gonna bump this up to 4.5 just because I am really, really enjoying this book. I don't think it's five stars, but I'm loving it. So, a lot of people don't like this book um, just because, and you know, the end of it, because <laughs> a lot of people love a plot-driven story. This is not it. It's a really character-driven story because Vala basically um, figures out that she's a windwalker and it's kind of her story, you know, getting to know her powers uh, along with uh, Crown, Crown Prince Aldrich. And it's, you know, it's just that story. This first book, things do happen, obviously. You do have a plot in the background, but it's not like a fully... <coughs> like plot driven story. It does have a plot but it's mainly focused on Vala. And yeah, 4.5. I really really am enjoying this book. Uh, it's a reread for me but Elise Kova is definitely like a author that I am really really enjoying and I am going to read more books from this author. I mean um, the first one I am going to finish the Air Awakens series. That is kind of the, let's call it the first quest of this. We are, the next one is Fire Falling. And um, yeah, I can't wait. And then we are definitely going to read more in the Air Awakens series. We have a prequel and then a different series. Definitely, I'm going to continue on with this series so can't wait to get the next book and i can't wait to order the next one to be honest so that was what i have i have listened to a little bit of poirot investigates i will probably listen more in the morning and then i will start probably the darkest star just because if i am like read a hundred pages with that and then maybe continue on with the hunger games that's a possibility i do believe that and then as i am doing different things then listen to poirot investigates i'm going to bed now so i will talk tomorrow <laughs>it's one already so I have I have three hours left of this, of this readathon uh, I got a late start I overslept 
Uh, so the clock was really late when I got up. Um, but I have finished the book, so I have finished two books, which is, for me, great. The board is here because I have finished Poirot Investigates. So, really, really well. Uh, I give it three stars. Now, on Corpile, it came out as a three stars. So, Corpile is definitely one thing. It is G from Book Roasts, um, like, kind of thing to basically figure out what to rate a book. And so far, um, not a lot of books I've gotten five stars. So, I think so far, as far as from rereads, this is the only one who has gotten to a five stars. So, yeah. Poirot Investigates ended up as a three stars. And I feel like that is what I would actually say because yeah definitely i don't feel like it's more i mean i don't particularly love short stories uh but this one was okay you know but i just sometimes i feel like sherlock holmes and hercule poirot hercule mm, like the poirot books they just get a little over my head because sometimes i have not a clue what is you know, how do they figure this out? Because I I don't know if it's me who is just not thinking or if it's that book just being like way too smart for me. I don't know. So I still have two books to go. Uh, I will start with The Darkest Star. So let's just, I'm gonna get it. So, this is the next book. Uh, I am already 100 pages in. I got 100 pages like the day before. So, I will at least read 100 pages in this. I do believe that I will try and actually finish this entire thing. Just to make it easier for myself. Finish it off. And it is a really easy read. It's It doesn't take that long to... I'm going to be able to finish this. I am really curious, um, basically about this. So far, it's really good. So, yeah, and it's going to be great to get another book off my shelf and then pick up another book and see what we get. Um, won't do that now because I also have, if I finish this, I will start with The, the Hunger Games just because I am feeling so great once I don't have 25 prompts that I am trying to fulfill because 25 books are like, I want to say the maximum amount that I am able to do with pretty chunky books. If all of them were small, it wouldn't be a problem, but we all know that I don't choose small books. So yeah, going to be great to be completely honest um, and get some more books done so yeah I'm gonna go start with this and then see how far I can get and then yeah just see basically so it's much much later it's actually 5 30 so the readathon is definitely over so I was not able to touch this but I still have like a week or so left um yeah a little bit over a week left of the month so i might get to this uh i still have an audiobook i really want to get to the guest list but not to worry but i did finish this which was great now my parents is going home so um but i did finish this have not read it like taking it through Copile, um, so I will do that. But I have finished this. I will take it to Copile, and I will end the vlog tomorrow when you know no one is going to interrupt me. Hopefully, so <laughs> I will talk to you then. So I can finally wrap up the this twenty four hour readathon. So I talked briefly about this. Uh, it's in the Lux series, like a spin-off of that. So this book 
definitely made me want to basically pick up the Lux series, to be completely honest, because it was actually really good. Give it four stars. Don't remember what I said yesterday, but overall, really liked it. So basically, for this 24 hour eat, like these 24 hour, these 24 hours, I have read Air Awakens, like in its entirety, like 200 and so pages of The Darkest Star and Poirot Investigates. So I will say I probably have read like 750 800 pages in 24 hours, hours, and I also overslept. So I would consider that a win. I read two books that I really, really liked, so definitely a win. I'm going to continue on with this series, which is great. And yeah, I think that is kind of it. I don't have anything else. So I'm going to leave you here. I am going to end uh, my weekly vlog uh, because I have not yet done that. So I will talk to you later for another video. Bye!